Hello and welcome. In the previous video, I showed you what are the features of this Gatsby WordPress theme. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it, okay, and set it up for you. So the first thing you're going to do is, so this theme is uh, available on uh, NPM, which I've, I've built and I've published it here. Uh, so you can install it from here. But in, if you already have a Gatsby project set up, you can use it but if you aren't if you are a beginner or if you have little technical knowledge don't worry I'm gonna teach you here how to use this theme for your front-end application so that you can have a fast engaging application fast in every possible way that's what Gatsby say right fast in every possible way okay great so the first thing we're gonna do is um, install Gatsby CLI so I'm gonna go to terminal and then I will do npm install Gatsby CLI G. So G is for global. You can also use yarn if you want, if you have it, if you're more comfortable with it. Uh, and hit enter. So I already have Gatsby CLI, so I don't need to install it. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is once you install Gatsby CLI, this will help you create Gatsby theme for you, and you know you don't have to worry about setting up everything from scratch. So let's do Gatsby new my Gatsby project what this is going to do is going to install Gatsby react react Dom and all the possible dependencies that it requires you can also do it from scratch if you want yourself uh, all you have to do in that case is just install just install Gatsby react react Dom but uh, if you want to go with this approach you can certainly do that so let's stick to this one for now okay so let it install everything it's supposed to install and in the meanwhile let's open this project quickly into our code editor so the, I have already opened uh, my Gatsby project into my code editor and it's already installing all the required packages and dependencies and you know let it install that and in the meanwhile what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Gatsby config and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all of this I don't need it and and I'm going to just go to my npm package and just use the settings from here okay so as it says that go to your Gatsby config dot js and go ahead and add that so I'll add that here and this is the second step but since it's already installing the previous packages we've just jumped on to the second step instead instead of first okay and this is going to ask you for your WordPress site URL so let's say your WordPress is uh, live on example.com so you'll put like https uh, and then example.com okay so in my case my wordpress i'm going to use my local wordpress setup so i have my local wordpress setup right here so i'm using a map so i'll just use this url okay so this this part right here could be like example.com wherever your wordpress is installed but in my case it's going to be this okay great so I've got that here and next thing I'm gonna do is I don't need this source folder I'll get rid of that because my theme is going to take care of all of the pages and everything okay it's up to you whatever whatever you want to keep if you want have more configuration you can put it here but for for like basics this is this is good okay so as you can see that it's installed all of the packages so, so now I'm just going to go into that directory which is my CD my Gatsby project and I'm going to install the theme so these themes are basically you can treat them as plugins as well so in Gatsby allows you to use different plugins multiple plugins uh, the best way is that uh, if you if you need a particular feature just like in WordPress you search for a plugin you know if the plugin is available you go ahead and use it uh, if it isn't then you probably you know write your own custom function and you may want to add that theme into the Gatsby repository as well okay